Hey guys, it's Sage here at the Panhandle Plains Historical Museum. Since it's spooky season, we are going to do a spooky themed craft today. And I have, oh wait, I don't have my example. Where did my examples go? There they are. We are going to be making these spooky bats for you guys. So what you'll need is coffee filters, scissors, markers, a paper plate, and a squirt bottle. So the first things first, we will take our coffee filter and we will fold it in half like this and then in half again. And these are for our bat's wings, our spooky bat's wings. So I am going to cut my wing shape out and I'll show you guys when I get done. So it should look something like this. And then when you unfold it, you have a set of bat wings. All right, so now we're gonna take our coffee filter put it on our paper plate and now we are going to color our coffee filter and you don't have to color every square inch of your coffee filter just make sure you get a good nice covering of marker all over and i'm not doing any particular pattern i'm just kind of scribbling which will turn out just fine for the effect I'm going for. So let's do some purple. And you can choose spooky colors if you want, like black and blue and green. But we just don't want our bats to be boring black bats, do we? We want some color to them. And the reason why I have this paper plate underneath my coffee filter as I'm coloring it is because number one, you might color over your coffee filter, so it might make a mess on the table underneath. And then you'll see the second reason in just a second. All right, so this is what my coffee filter looks like right now. Beautiful piece of work. Now comes the fun part. You're gonna take your spray bottle and we're going to spray our coffee filter, make sure it is good and saturated with water. Okay. And now we'll watch as the colors kind of bleed and blend together to create a neat tie-dye effect. All right, since that takes some time to dry, give it about 15 to 20 minutes. I have already made one that is dry and ready to go to show you guys. So this is my coffee filter I made beforehand, my bat wings, and I forgot to mention, most importantly, you will need a clothespin. So my clothespin, I already painted black to make the body of my bat. So what you're gonna do is, once you have your wings ready to go, I'm going to cut about a three inch slit up the middle like this. And then we are going to take our clothespin, open it up, and put it through the middle. So now you have your bat wings attached to your bat body. All right, so now I have some googly eyes that I'm going to glue onto my uh, clothespin. And I'm gonna use hot glue. You can use regular Elmer's glue if you'd like. Just put a couple of dots and glue our eyes down. All right, now we got our eyes on and I wanted my bat to have some ears. So I cut this out of um, just fun foam. It's just black fun foam. And it kind of looks like a mermaid's tail a little bit, but you'll see that I can just open up my clothespin and stick this in like that. 
and I have a pair of bat ears. So now he's starting to look a little bit more like a bat, right? Right, and then the final step, I have a painter's marker with me here. You can buy these at Walmart for about $2. And I'm going to add a smile and some vampire teeth to mine. All right, so I ended up making a scared face on mine like this. All right, so that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this spooky craft and you'll show us a picture of your spooky bats in the comments. Thanks for watching.